All right, Shalom. Kram Yasha Allah. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the elders of GMS uh, and salutation and salute, you know, peace to all you brothers out there that's doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Basically, I just want to do another, you know, quick lesson dealing with the controversy with uh, the, 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 the age of uh, consent or when a female becomes a marriageable age. You know, it's a lot of scoffers and a lot of emotional guys out there that's talking about um, what we condone is, 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 is unlawful or unrighteous and uh, we condone pedophilia and teaching that it's all right to young, uh, rape young, you know, little girls and all that. Well, um, you know, really, these guys are just emotional. They have no logic. And, uh, you know, they're a bunch of reprobates. You know, that's all we can say about those clowns. But uh, I just want to do a quick lesson, you know, just get straight to the point. Because I already know brothers and pretty much then touched on every aspect of it. They didn't nailed it. You know, it's pretty much dead at this point. But I just want to, you know, pull out a last key point. Um, I'm going to get into the, to the story of King David. And also, I want to look up the word damsel. Because that's also a key a key word in this in this uh, topic, you know, because we're dealing with a, a a young woman. What is a damsel? A young woman. But we're gonna actually look that up and let and, and let it speak for itself, you know, for edification's sake. So uh, let me start with the story of uh, King David. It's uh, First Kings one and one. Now King David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes. But he got no heat. Wherefore his servants said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin. So they basically like, hey, let's let's get him a young breezy man. He's getting up in age. You know, he he, he looks like he's he don't got it no more. So uh, let's try to give him a young thing, you know. And it says, uh, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her. Lie in thy bosom, that my lord the king may get heat. So they sought for a damsel throughout all the coast of Israel and found Abishag a Shunammite and brought her to the king. And the damsel was very fair, you know, meaning she was fine as hell, and cherished the king and ministered to him, but the king knew her not. So, uh, a challenge to you, 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 you clowns out there, you know, uh, 14th Street, you know, fruit beer ice queen that be getting all emotional about this, you know, calling brothers pedophiles and rapists and all that. I'm gonna issue you a challenge. How old was this young individual that they sought uh, King David with? Answer that. All right. Now we're gonna look up the word damsel real fast. Okay. All right. The Hebrew word for damsel. So lucky like one minute. The Hebrew word for damsel is naira, naira, which basically is a girl, a damsel, female servant. Of young woman, marriageable young woman. So that means that this woman has to be of a marriageable age, you know. If that's not what this is saying, it said a marriageable young woman. So this woman is of age to be married. That's what a damsel is. She's old enough to be a female servant or a maid. And, and, and in the law it says you could take a maid to be your wife. So that means she's old enough to do those those responsible, uh, you know, uh, housely duties as a woman now because she's of age, and she's also the age to be married, okay? So now that we got the word damsel, you know, we got the meaning of the word damsel, let's go to a story where it, it uh, brings out the age of a certain damsel, you know, and this was during the time when the Lord came on the scene. Let me, let me get that real quick. 
Let's go to Mark the fifth chapter. And we're going to start We're going to start at verse 36 Just to, you know, read into the story And read down to the point It says, as soon as Yahweh Shai heard the word that was spoken He said unto the ruler of the synagogue Be not afraid Only believe And he suffered no man to follow him save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he come up to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and see if the tumult and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he came, come in, he said unto them, why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. So he was referring to her as a damsel. Okay. This woman, she was, you know, she was considered dead. But the Lord understands death. He knows death. So he basically had to tell them, why y'all, what y'all crying for? She ain't dead. She's just sleeping. And that's basically what you do when you go to the grave, you know. But that's a whole other topic. Now, uh, the next verse, it says, and they laughed him to scorn, you know, because they were simple, of course. But when he had put them all out, he taken the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with them and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by hand and said unto her, Talitha Kamai, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. All right, so she arose, you know, another miracle that the Lord, our Lord did. And then it says, and straightway the damsel arose and walked. For she was the age of 12 years, and they were astonished with great astonishment. So this damsel was 12 years old. So by the in the, in the Bible, the Bible states that a damsel can be the age of 12 years old. So what do you guys got to say about that? You scoffers out there. This is in the Word. This is in the, in the Scriptures, man. But you guys, y'all still going to be rebellious. You still gonna be in denial, but this is a challenge to you dudes out there, man. And also an, an, another challenge: ask your great grandparents if they're still alive. How old were they when they got married? Ask them that. All right, and I'm gonna leave that out there. And with that, you know, Lord willing, I, uh, you know, just to bring edification, you know, for you sincere brothers. And also to address you, you know, you, you madmen out there, you know. So uh, I just want to shed light on that quick on that quick topic. And with that, you know, all praise due to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders, and salute to all you brothers out there pushing this word sincerity and truth. With that, shalom.